one of the things that I've learned in my years and talking to really wealthy people, successful people, and one of the things that inspired me at the beginning of, of my career is the fact that wealthy people don't just save and have this incremental growth. They position themselves to be opportunistic investors and catapult themselves forward, catapult the results, the results in their life forward and take advantage of circumstance, right? Take advantage of economic environment. Like Warren Buffett always says, make money when there's blood in the streets. As opportunity goes down, right? On this side, opportunity goes up for this pyramid, right? Now, 95% of people live and have their life structured like this. So like I said, it can fall over with one down market by building your pillar on, you know, your financial foundation, uh, you know, it, 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 with this safety, Hey, what's going on cash flow hackers and welcome to this video talking about the financial pyramid, uh, the life 180 pyramid. And this is going to be a, a deeper dive into a section of the pyramid talking about, um, where to invest for, uh, like more cash flow and, and kind of how to engage your strategy with, with this. So what I want to do here is kind of go to the whiteboard one more time and take a look and see. Okay, so remember, we have the safe money here. Now this is gonna be your guaranteed accessible. It's gonna be, uh, you know, uh, it's gonna be cash. It's gonna be protection. It's gonna be, you know, what, what you need to do to protect yourself. And everything needs to be based on that pillar, that, that, that foundation of strength and safety and security. Uh, because what happens is it helps you weather the storms. Remember, go back, watch that financial pyramid video uh, multiple times, really internalize that, get all these concepts down. And now we're going to get into uh, the medium investments. Now, in the last video, what I talked about here is like buy and hold, right? Now, here's the bottom line. When we talk about the medium risk investments, I, this is a lot of times big time misunderstanding, right? Like it, it is just people, I think the biggest mistake that they make is they don't invest in themselves enough. Now, and they don't put um, their their ability to go out and earn and create into the mix, right? They they don't they don't give it enough credit. Now, what a lot of people would do is they say, okay, well, I've I've made my money here, right? They go, okay, well, I've I've made money down here. I've saved in the in the safety. So now, what am I going to do? I'm going to go out and I'm going to buy buy and hold stocks. I'm going to buy and hold anything that it is. But the reality is chances are, even if you've saved enough here, remember this, this, this fund down here is really designed to set you up for opportunity. So while, while, you know, most people get down here and you save enough, let, let's say you get to a years of income, a year of income in this safe account, which is pretty high by most people's standards. It's low by mine, but high for most. And what I would say to that is even with that, you're not going to have enough to really catapult your life forward. One of, one of the things that I've learned in my years and talking to really wealthy people, successful people, and one of the things that inspired me at the beginning of, of my career is the fact that wealthy people don't just save and have this incremental growth. They position themselves to be opportunistic investors and catapult themselves forward, catapult the results, the results in their life forward and take advantage of circumstance, right? Take advantage of economic environment. Like Warren Buffett always says, make money when there's blood in the streets. As opportunity goes down, right? On this side, opportunity goes up for this pyramid, right? Now, 95% of people live and have their life structured like this. So like I said, it can fall over with one down market by building your pillar on, you know, your financial foundation, uh, you know, it, 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 with this safety, it positions yourself. Now what, what you're going to do is you're going to still focus on creating active income, I'm not saying passive income, uh, isn't a way to go. I, obviously the name of this book in, in my book is cash flow hacking. And so the goal is to get to mailbox money, to passive cash coming through, uh, your system in your life every single day, ultimately. But the bottom line is you're not always going to get there. It, you, there may be an opportunity that presents it to yourself, to, to you, uh, when it comes to, um, the fact that maybe circumstantially we, you're reading this book and we're in the middle of an economic correction, right? Maybe the market, we're in the middle of that correction right now. Maybe it's happened already. Maybe you're preparing for it. I don't know. But the bottom line is 
I'm not going to know when you're, when you're watching this video, when you're reading this book, but what I do know is that these principles never change. That's what I know because we know the market is cyclical. It's not linear. It goes up, it comes down, it goes up, it comes down over the long run. It's going to go up a little bit, especially because we have inflation that's, you know, baked into our financial system. And so we have to take that into consideration. So what do we do? I'm going to change my color here. What do we do? with this, what we do is we have to take into consideration that we want to create active income, right? And so active income is, is income that you can create and maybe think a little bit outside the box. So there's two ways to do this. Active income can be things like going to tax deeds. It can be fix and flip houses. It can be, uh, overages which is uh, a tax deed auction kind of strategy. There's a lot of different ways that you can do this. If you want to um, buy and hold money uh, or you know, use your money to buy and hold more long-term, if, if circumstantially you wanted to buy a turnkey property, like a rental property, um, turnkey rental, I'll just write, then it would also fit here um, and you can leverage that. that but, but the bottom line is, depending on how much money you have, depending on how fast you need the results, this, once you have this safety pillar built, the foundation of safety built, now you're thinking about creation. Okay, now you have the protection down, you have the protection in place, you can make sure you can weather any storm, and now is when you're gonna start to prepare to take your life to the next level, to start actualizing these results that you're going after, and that really, um, and quite frankly, here's what I'll say is you can start doing some of this active income stuff while you're building the safety and while you're building the protection, uh, it's going to be very environmental. It's going to be very based on what's going on in the economy around us in, in what your level of urgency is to do different things, right? Um, obviously, uh, you have to take that into consideration. Life doesn't exist on a spreadsheet. We don't live in a bubble. It is what it is. So you need to, you need to make sure that you're prepared. I'm going to get into this more in the book. Um, as you go through the book, if you're, if you're watching this video, cause you came through the book, or if you're just watching this on YouTube, I'm not sure. Um, but the bottom line is uh, if you haven't gotten the book, go down below in the description of the YouTube video here and make sure you get your copy. But if you have the book and you're reading this, make, you just know that I'm going to get into a lot more detail, um, with, with what the different strategies are, what the different assets are as the book goes on that you can take advantage of to make sure you set yourself up for predictable results so you can actually reach financial freedom in the next decade. So, um, so what I would say at this point in time is continue the journey, continue to understand that these two pillars, the most important parts are these two pillars at the very bottom. I'm going to use a different color because I really want you to see it in orange here. These two pillars together, when you combine this, if you do this right and you can do this in the next decade, right? And, and what will happen is you'll create more passive income. You'll create more freedom. You could actually do this in the next five years if you're really, really diligent about it. And what will happen is that will make the rest of your life look like you could never imagine because no matter what happens, I'm a big, I, you know, I love crypto for instance. So by doing these two things, right, it allows me to get crypto, which is an extremely volatile asset, right? But it allows me to get crypto and take advantage of it and leverage the growth and the volatility without having to worry about that volatility because I love the long-term viability of crypto. But if I have to rely on the returns of crypto in any corner kind of sort of short term capacity, I'm really exposing myself to a lot of market risk. And that's where the challenge is, is most people have most of their money too highly leveraged, too highly exposed to too much risk down here, right? And they don't have any money saved up here. So then their financial life falls over every, you know, seven, eight, 10 years or so. And, and that's where they run into problems. So that financial structure is so important. So before we get into creating the assets, I, I hope you understand this and uh, hope you enjoy reading the rest of the book and I'll see you in there.